people, 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 people. Kepa sa sa pa say what they do. Welcome to Jamaica Dancehall Source, your source for dancehall and our entertainment and news. Now the first thing that is popping in the news is that we saw that a reputed gangster and his name is Blue Blue. He was taken out on the controversial way on Spanish Town Road. A lot of pers were saying that him and a crony were blazing all sorts of con after some people in Spanish Town. And they were spotted by the popo and they were taken out by the popo. Basically him bike basically flip over and him lose him life. Plus him get a couple of lead to basically take him back to the afterlife. So people, I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to the actual incident in which you can hear all sorts of corner bake up, all sorts of bike, a rate, lay, lay, blue, blah, blah. So people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. <laughs> Go on, you can't get touched. 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 You can't now people, when we look at a video like that, based on the information that I got, this is the actual incident in which Blue Blue lost his life, cannot validate or verify. However, when we listen to or watch a video like this, it is obvious that this sounds like some sort of live movie, some sort of incident in a Baghdad wherein all sorts of the T people them are basically kick off with the insurgent Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling. This does not sound like Little Jamaica. However, people, we know say Little Jamaica broke out like some sort of sore. So people, based on the information, it is said that there is some sort of squabble. As it pertains to Denham Town and Tivoli Gardens and people, based on the information, it looks like all hell, B-R-O-K-E, loose, point blank and period. And you could hear the sounds of all sorts of tallo. These weren't any run of the mill 9mm or 4 fifth rate, lay, lay, blue, blah, bling. No, people, these are some set of tall up, point blank and period. However, people, at the end of the day, based on the information, it is said that Blue Blue lost his life and one of his cronies were taken into custody. So, people, may just I say, based on all those sounds that we hear, this does not sound like any sorts of people upon any sorts of bike and the soldier. It sounds like all out W-A-R, Tivoli Gardens versus Denham Town, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, people, the first thing that is popping in the news is that we see that there's a war of words, some passa passa some mix-up, some verbal altercation, as it pertains to two members of the PNP, People's National Party. I am speaking about Lisa Anna and the next person whose name is Councillor Bell. For those of you that don't know who Mr. Bell is, he is the councillor for the Beecher Town in St. Anne. So people, based on the information, it is said that they had some sort of mediation meeting in St. Anne, Runaway Bay to be specific. And it is said that there was some sort of verbal altercation between the two. It is said that Lisa Anna suggested that Mr. Bell, he is a freak. So Mr. Bell responded to Mrs. Lisa Anna and said, Ask Denzel McDonald, O.C. Wheezy, which one of us is the real freak? Now people, based on the information, it is said that you could see the expression on Mrs. Anna's face as if Mr. Bell step on her can, him step on her can. She was shocked and awe, her face got pale, as if she said something or she heard something that basically hits the nail on top of the head. 
Now, people, it is said that after Lisa Anna called Mr. Bella freak, he said that he is going to punch her in her mouth. And people, it is said that Lisa Anna get up and she rushed after Mr. Bell and she had to be restrained. Based on information, Lisa Anna said to Mr. Bell, don't forget that I have a black belt. So therefore, if you try punch me in my face, you know exactly what is going to happen. And people, what was even more disturbing is that based on information, it is said that Lisa Anna said that she was going to go tell her man, she was going to drive and tell her man. So therefore, Mr. Bell responded by saying, don't run and go tell him, call him on the phone and tell him. So people, it is said that Miss Anna said to Mr. Bell, listen, whenever my man hear about this and her man's name is Mr. Richard Leake, he is a prominent businessman. He is also some sort of affiliate as it pertains to the PNP. A very popular, prominent businessman. Now, people, based on information, it is said that after the verbal squabble, Lisa Anna left St. Anne and she went to St. Andrew in a Kingston and she made a report to the Popo. Now, people, based on the accounts of Mr. Bell, he said that a prominent Popo from St. Andrew told him that Yes, she did indeed file some sort of report. However, it is basically useless because under the context in which he said that he is going to punch her in her mouth, people, it is no sort of threat. They would not regard it as any sort of threat because of the context in which it was said. It was a form of expression. Now, people, I don't know if you know the difference when uptown people make threats or people from the garrison make threats. However, people, obviously, we see say, Whenever prominent persons, we are talking about politicians or anybody with any sorts of face card, whenever there's any sorts of reports made against them or for them, it is usually swept under the rug. So therefore, whenever you're in the body body club, basically each one looks out for the next one, point blank and period. Now people, what stand out or stood out most in this argument is when Miss Lisa Anna claimed that the man is a freak and then the man responded and said, if anybody is a freak, ask Mr. Denzel McDonald, O.C. Weezy, who is the real freak. So people, we have to ask the question, was this man exposing Lisa Anna's secrets? Whatever skeleton she has in the closet, people, me no know. However, it sounded a bit odd. It sounded a bit offensive. She was obviously offended because she get up and she rushed the man. And people have to restrain her and people. She stormed out the building and then she made a report. Couple of Popo stations down the road. She passed the whole of St. Anne, all of the Popo station them. And then she went to St. Andrew. I don't know if she's more comfortable or because the people them know her there. Or because she has more power there. People, me no know. Now people, when we think about the fact of what is going on in Jamaica. And if you've watched the news, you see how them act in a parliament. It is like a bunch of bubbling barbones in a parliament. They don't act professional. They don't act as if they have any sorts of management skills. They don't act as if they are supposed to be running the affairs of the country, much less for them own self. People, may just I show you all the people, them, the politicians in Jamaica, the parliamentarians, all of the MP, all of the councillors, they are boogoyaga. They are basically worse than the average Joe or the average Jane in a Jamaica and people. This is yet an ex-perfect example, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, the next part of the video is called Some People, They Just Don't Deserve to Have Any Sorts of Driver's License. They have no reasons being on the road. They are a hazard to every other driver, every other person that walk or drive or ride any sorts of bike, any sorts of pedestrian, any sorts of motorist. So people, take a listen, take a look at this picture. You see that picture? That lady was basically reversing. However, the car end up over the wall. And people, I am not speaking about Elephant Man's song. So people, I am going to let somebody explain exactly what happens and then I'll give my piece. Dog, she wasn't going to come out of the car, Paul. My, you know, it's a shame, brother. Everybody just had to take picture and I look my youth. 
when security saw yo, every man him have to help the girl park dog, because she can't park good. It's like, the dog put her in the spot to park, right? And he's like, your man's alright, stay this or no. By the time security saw to walk off, your man's say, woo woo woo, gone up on the f***ing wall, brother. Well, you have to understand, your member said, you could block something that ground first, you know, so she go over that, then jump up on the wall, yeah, dog. I will, if I get a chef to press reach up this, you know. Now, people. The truth and the fact is that when you just start learning to drive, you are nervous. However, people, we all make mistakes. It is a part of the learning process. However, people, it seems as if some people foot too heavy, some people foot too big. Some people have what they call a lead foot because people, the truth and the fact is that it seems as if this lady just get up and run and get a running start and jump and press on the gas. How did she end up over the wall? How did she end up? People, it is literally impossible what she did. I don't know exactly what happened. It looked like them used a crane, pick up the car and put it over the wall. There is no way in gravity or in physics that this lady should press the gas off her car and end up on the wall like that. However, people, like them say, a picture is worth a thousand words. So therefore, you have the picture and you have the voice note. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.